Once upon a time, Dolphin receiver Mark Clayton was catching everything in sight, it seemed. Wide receiver teammate Mark Duper appearing to catch most of what Clayton did not. They gave past defenders fits, but not now. Duper has been sidelined for six games with a fracture. And that means an easier time covering the Dolphin passing attack. Because they are the Dolphins, every game is incentive for the opponent. The sellout crowd here at the Silverdome for the first time in two years gives the Lions support as they try to knock off the Dolphins. Incentive to try to knock off Mark Clayton, however, is always there. They know where I'm at out there, and they know what I'm capable of doing if they leave one person on me at a time. And teams are smart enough to know that that if one person can beat them and they can take them out of the game, then that's what they're going to do, take them out of the game. There were 18 touchdowns last year, only one so far this season, and none yesterday as either the ball was on target and Clayton's hands were not, or pass routes were run with non-scoring results. Other Dolphin receivers are making things happen, but not having to worry about Duper and Clayton makes that defensive coverage a lot easier to plan. Do we want to double cover Clayton and, and uh, single the other guys? And I felt that, that we're just going to play our zone, deep zones, favor one side or the other, but just play zone and see if he can pick us apart. So the plan for Dolphin defenders is just to play everybody loose and long. Perhaps a short passing game can counteract that. In the meantime, there are few big plays for Clayton, but so far no big headaches as a result. I would never let it bother me because if I let that bother me, then that's an added pressure on myself, and I don't believe in putting added pressure on myself. I just go out there and take whatever they give me, then, you know, if that's all they give me and I, and I get it, then I'm satisfied.